Hello folks, Grumpy Vlogger here. Okay, I was more successful going to Hobby Lobby getting the stuff that now if I can just get back down and nobody run over me. Because sun is shining right in my back windows and I can't really see. So <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so that was a success. Uh, I got Judy. She'd been doing these uh coloring, you know, these pre-shaded coloring books that I bought for bought them, them and the prism colors which is the brand name of pencils I don't know three or four years ago bought her the whole set of prism colors like I don't know 190 different colors but the 190 colors it gives you a lot to choose from but not a lot that you'll actually use you know 16 shades of orange orange is still but ugly so uh, it's not something that you would use every day. <coughs> so, anyways, but she ran out of the flesh tone that she likes using. The uh, The books I got her are like, you know, a couple of them are mermaids, you know, and they're, they're for, I mean, they're not pornographic by any means, but they're, they're for adult coloring, not, although I'm sure teens and you know, young people would like coloring it. I'm not sure about little kids and crayons. It's not that kind of coloring, but <clears throat> it's something that Judy enjoys. She's been picking back up lately. Uh, she ran out. She she's wore one of those pencils down to the nub because there's a lot of flesh tone in some of these pictures, and uh, so. Oh God, walks like I do. I'm gonna let him cross. Anyways, well, I'd love to go in there and spend some money, but I ain't got, ain't got the money, or ain't got, I got the money, I ain't got the permission. So, uh, can't do nothing without permission. So, anyways, I went to Hobby Lobby, and they had everything I needed. I picked up a couple extra things that uh, will help. I, she wants, she, she uses a, a, a pencil sharpener by Prism, which makes their pencils the right shape that she wants me in but i also saw there's another company that puts out these kind of another uh, uh she's bought actually a lot of paints in in that color when she was doing her oils and, and acrylics and so i'll classify that as a stop okay there you go gramps he made a left hand turn out he's right, turning right in the sun he couldn't see what he was doing so Good Lord, I get that bad. I'm gonna hang up my, I'm gonna hang up my uh, keys. But anyways, I got, I bought two of the colors that she's just got that much of a pencil left. I bought two of those colors, and she had quite a bit of metallic gold left. But I bought her another one because she uses metallic gold. So, and I got her the pencil sharpening asked for. I got her the erasers, got her some storage box for it, you know, because. She took them out of the really fancy metal can that they were in because, you know, put it bluntly, it was a pain in the ass to use. So she has them in a great big Tupperware container now, but with no ability to sort. So what I did is I bought two uh, pencil boxes that that'll hold, you know, should hold most of her pencils. You know, she might have to combine a few and she may not like it. I may have to go back and get another one. I don't know. But anyways... So I was successful at that uh, at that particular store, so which is good. And uh, so I'm now headed home, and I'm sure she'll tell me what she wants to eat, and I'll either go get it or I won't. So I don't really have anything at the house, so I probably need to go get some groceries too. But yeah, I was able to. I was much more successful. I, I hate going to the store with a list of items and you can find them. You go there knowing you hate going to that store, like Walmart. I mean, who who in their right mind really enjoys going to Walmart? I don't know anybody, especially these big super stores. You know, back when they were small, smaller, you know, and you could walk around. Old, old people could walk around there and real easy. But, man, when they built these suit, when they, they built the first first one, which is on the corner that I, I'm, I was just stopped at, that's where the new old Walmart was at. 
the newer of the old Walmarts. And it was quite a bit bigger, and I thought more than big enough to walk around in. But then they decided to resurface the look of Walmart. You know, they did a revamp, a facelift, and they said, you know, this just ain't going to do it. So we're going to sell it to the city, make a little money off the deal, which they didn't have to pay tax. And that's, I think, a lot of what Walmart does. They get tax breaks by these cities, and as soon as that contract for that 10 years or 15 year tax break is up, then they shut down that Walmart, kills that shopping center that's been built around it, and move on to somewhere else. Which, because they want to do, they want to renegotiate and get a new tax break, and I think that's just, I mean, that's just frustrating. And it puts out all the small stores. Eventually, there is nowhere else to shop except for Walmart and a few small grocery stores, which like we have here. But uh, Walmart has a large selection of stuff. I mean, especially Super Walmart, the big super centers. They have a huge selection. Most of it's crap. Most of it's not. And if you do find something worthwhile, they only carry it for a certain period of time. And they may only have one of that item and they won't carry it again. You know, it's just... Walmart just frustrates the crap out of me. I mean, their business... Now, Sam Walton, his idea was to bring a get, you know, it was originally called Walmart's Discount City, and that was, back in the day, where going to Walmart was a, was a good value for the American shopper, and it was good for America. Sam Walton, you know, had this idea, oh, look at that, cops sitting over there, looks like they're getting ready for to do a drug bus or something, they got all their lights on, maybe they've already done it. Or they're just over there having a coffee break. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, it's uh, it's just one of them things. So listen, I've gone on seven minutes. This will be the third video for next week, uh, and I promise to have. Uh, I promise I'm going to try and do five videos next week. Uh, I'm filming this again on Thursday, July, July, you know, Thursday, December tenth. Good God. I got less. Here I am thinking it's July 10th, and I've got plenty of time till Christmas to shop. Nope, I don't. Anyways, guys, you know what I say. Be kind. Treat each other better than you would treat yourselves. Remember, all lives really do matter, even the unborn. And everyone have a blessed and joyous Christmas season. Uh, and may Santa Claus bring you everything you want. Uh, remember, God help, God bless the USA. I'm the grumpy vlogger. I'm turning the corner. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now.